Okay. You guys got the house? Check the house. Mommy be back. All right, you guys. So, this is called the boop. That's what that's called. The boop hairstyle. This is called a, I pulled it up in a ponytail and tucked all the ends in until I thought it looked okay. What you think? You think it look okay? I think it look design. <laughs> this is what I'm rocking. Yeah, this is why I love doing braids. I don't have to comb my hair. I just whip this mess. Just, just whip, whip this mess up. Just whip it up. Look at it. Look at that swoop. That, that's why it's called a swoop. Boop, boop. That's what it's called. Y'all like that, huh? Okay, so even if you don't like it, I've never been one to really care what other people think. So, woo, it's cold. Getting in this car this morning. <sighs> so those of you who know or may not know, maybe not, I'm about to tell you. About to tell you. Like the hit star, here it go. So first of all, oh, I don't know what I was listening to. First of all, I want to say, Hello, boof. <laughs> Do you know what a boof is? That's a best friend forever. BFF, you know? When I first saw BFF, I was like, what's a boof? Did you ever wonder that? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, um. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was I talking about? All right. Boof. Fusses. You guys are my buffasses. <laughs> my buffasses. My best best friend forever sisses. Yay! Because you guys really real talk. I get so excited when I get to make uh, YouTube videos. I'm like, what am I gonna what am I gonna talk about on YouTube today? So I'm really excited. Um today I'm actually on my way to my mom. My mother is deaf and blind. She started her own nonprofit organization called SHEP. Buckle up for safety. Okay, so she started her own nonprofit organization. Ooh, it's tricky. Try not to hit my daughter's car. She parks behind me in the driveway, so she parks back some so that I can get past her without, you guys see? I don't know if you can see her, her car approaching here. Woohoo! bye car. Bye daughter's car. So, um, that's how we roll. Our parking lot's big enough to fit like four or five cars. So, not parking lot. Good lord, driveway. <sighs> so, my mom started her own nonprofit organization called SHEP, which is Sight Hearing Encouragement Program. My mother is deaf blind, so she's deaf and legally blind, so she, she really can't see anything. She could see, like, she used to have more sight when we were growing up. And then when we reached adulthood, then all of her sight left. So she now sees just dark shadows everywhere. Dark shadow, shadows and light shadows. So she can tell when the light is on or when the light is off. Or when it's daytime or nighttime. Or if it's daytime and it suddenly gets dark, she can tell that it's cloudy. She's like, what happened? What happened to the light? So she could tell those things. Um, but she's deaf and blind. And so she wanted to help other people like her. She encourages and uplifts other people like her people in the deaf blind community my mother is having this camp coming up for the deaf blind which is really exciting she like she gets these ideas on where she wants it and what she wants to do and then she gets people to help her make phone calls and get it all connected and activated and everything else and so um the ideas come from my mom and then she has people around her that helps her execute these plans and um so I'm on my way to the office. We're gonna stuff some gift bags, some goodie bags for all of the participants for this camp coming up this week, this weekend. And so today you guys are gonna get to see some firsthand on how my mother and I interact as far as talking. If you've ever heard of tactile signing, that's when you talk um, hand in hand. So if you've heard of Helen Keller, you know how Helen Keller, the story where she has to put her hand on the other person's hand and they have to sign. So that's signing hand in hand, as opposed to you guys are probably more accustomed to watching someone sign where hand in hand, you have to feel their signs because you can't see, you can't see it if you're watching it because you can't watch it. 
<laughs> so you gotta feel it with your hands, you know? And so you guys will get to see firsthand. And my mom actually got these new digital hearing aids that the um, state of Oklahoma, um, Deaf Blind Administration State Department helped her get. So she actually has these digital hearing aids that allows her to hear certain things, which is amazing. So if you talk loud enough, she can hear, she can pick out certain words. But first, she said she wanted some McDonald's. Thank you. I told y'all, if y'all seen that other video, I told y'all we need to get some stock in McDonald's. They didn't get my stuff wrong. They had like three different people taking my order. It was confusing. I was like, what? The screen wasn't right. And then I'm ending the order and somebody comes on and says, how may I help you? <laughs> I was like, what? Hello. All right, is that everything? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, they say that's everything, but you still got to check. Or you're going to be mad. All right. It's legit. It's legit, y'all. All right, so to get to my mom's nonprofit office, Shep, if you guys want to check it out, it's shep-ok.org. Shepok.org. S-H-E-P-OK.org. And you'll see a picture of my mom. I think you might even see a picture of me on there. But um, yeah, that's my mother, Cassandra Oaks, her nonprofit organization. And I'm on my way to go help out. So it's about a 35-minute drive for me. So I'll see you guys in a little bit and you guys will get to see how we tactile side, tactile side, tactile side. Okay, buffasuses. <laughs> I want to thank you for keeping me and delivering me to my destination because my gas is lying on the lot. And the little ding ding thing didn't go off. I didn't even know I needed gas. I guess it went off last night. And see, with my car, it only goes off one time. It don't go off every time you start the car. It don't have reminders. You get one. I need some gas. There's a place right down the street. Help me, Jesus. Help me. It's right down the street. I, I know I can make it. Woo. Cutting it close. Hey, mommy. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Is your grill machine? Okay, you will eat your breath for that. The first day, uh, when you finish eating your breath, you remember, uh, did you see the uh, sea creature baby? No. You didn't see it? What sea creature baby? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> got donated to us for free. We're going to pin him on the shirt. Oh. <laughs> when you're at the end, the shirt and the thing, the baby, you're so funny. Oh. What's the thing, the baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got those little thing, the baby, they're cute. They say they do perfect for the shirt, man, with the thing. You're the <laughs> 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 They put the to be funny. Or do you want, um. Just anything. We don't care about what it is. Okay, okay. Everybody just put it on them. We're not choosing anything. We just don't pick up those. They get what they get. Well, um. I'm just trying on to show where it's going to be. Okay. Now, get the piece. How, uh, how do you sign dolphin? Dolphin? Yeah. 
Dolphin. Oh, Dolphin. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, you can see it like that, okay? Uh, okay. You know, you're gonna be like this. Yeah. Right here, or oh, right on here, what you think? Down here, right here on the thigh. No, it, let's it, put it's, one down here. Let's see which one look better. No, it looks better here. How, how, how do you want me to fold the shirts? Oh, just follow the way you get the paper to be thick now. Show up. Fast wear or like that. The best you can. Okay. The bag is wide. Okay. Do you want it, uh, hold on. Small? Uh, maybe if you want to separate small, medium, large, that's no. the man. Do you want me to fold? Uh, to, to fit in the bag. Let's try in the bag. Wait a minute. Okay. Try okay. the bottom of the bag. Let's learn to fit in the bottom of the bag. Not so small, whatever, but just to fit in the bag. Flat like that. Okay. We'll see. Okay.